East Tennessee with a two-point lead. Get your ball fan the perfect gift for Christmas. The 1989 Tennessee football highlights video from UTV Home Video. This hour-long production will have all of the magic moments from the 89 season and interviews with key players and coaches. Balls 89 will be delivered to your home in plenty of time for Christmas. To order, send 32.95 to UTV Home Video. P.O. Box Balls, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37939. We'll give you that, that address again a little bit later on. Tennessee will play it in. Carlos Groves will inbound. Here we see Jennings putting a lot of pressure now on Houston, which he's had to face the first three games he's played this year. Carlos Groves ties this ball game up at 13. Chad Keller with a basketball, looks for help. Jennings, the playmaker, major gear, excellent three-point shooter in the ballgame now for East Tennessee. Buccaneers work the ball, Houston against gear. 18 on the shot clock, Keller's jumper rejected by Lockhart. Keller got it back, but a foul against Allen Houston. Pretty good man-to-man -man defense. Tennessee's doing a good job in their half-court defense in this game. The first was a good rejection. The second one a close one just got him somewhat with his body. There we see the, the rejection. I think that's the first block there. Now we're going up for the second one. Gets him just a bit with the body. Chad Keller, 6'8", 235, a senior which is a rare commodity on the East Tennessee State team. We talk about them being a veteran team, but a lot of them are sophomores and juniors. They are, but they, they got a tremendous amount of playing experience last year, and they got it against good competition and in the NCAA tournament. Les Robinson, in his fourth year at East Tennessee, says he knows a little bit about what Wade Houston's going through because his first game with all these guys, when they were freshmen, they were beaten by 25 by a non-scholarship program. They've come a long way. East Tennessee with a two-point lead. Balls have it kicked out of bounds by the Buccaneers. Tennessee will play it back in. Ricky Clark in the ball game now for Tennessee. Will make the inbound toss. Gets it into Houston from way outside. No good. Talford with a rebound. Here come the Buccaneers. This is Jennings. Gear with it. Talford, nice baseline move and walk for the ball. Lost control of it. And another floor mistake for East Tennessee. Pretty good defensive pressure on the corner, but Tennessee, that caused that actually caused the turnover. Wide open Lockhart got the layup. Lockhart with six. Bell has six. Tennessee ties it up at 15. Talford with it now. Tried to feed Keller. Story threw it away. Tennessee with a chance to take the lead. Tennessee's only lead at 4-2 to two early. Carlos Groves will pull up and fire. He missed it. Major gear with a rebound. And East Tennessee, A.W., doing a good job on the boards despite the fact they're giving up some height. They are. They're, they're doing a good job boxing off. They're not giving Tennessee the second opportunity. What a beautiful feed from Jennings to Story for the layup. And East Tennessee back out by a pair. Ricky Clark drives the baseline underneath. Nice move, missed the shot. Out of bounds to the Volunteers. A nice, a nice offensive move by Clark. He got underneath, it looked like he had the easy shot, and then I believe it, it looked like he lost his balance or he, his foot slipped or something caused him to miss the layup. Coming in for Tennessee will be Sean Thompson. Carlos Groves will sit down. Thompson, another freshman, started Tennessee's first game with uh, Austin P. Wade Houston looking at a lot of different folks trying to find combinations that work. And Greg Dennis just got away with what could have been his third foul. That's dangerous. They definitely do not want him to pick up a third one that way. 
I'm surprised he's back in this quickly, especially with the Buccaneers having the lead. Whistle and a foul against Calvin Talford of East Tennessee. Talford's first and the fourth team foul on East Tennessee this half. Here you see the, the pressure. East Tennessee State, the guy pushes off just more. And once he pushes off, you, you can't put that much pressure and put the elbow into the men's back. Timeout, 11.51 to go first half. Bucks by two. We'll be back in just a moment. Central, unless the game is a sellout, it'll be blacked out in Knoxville only. It'll be shown live on our UTV network in Nashville, Memphis, Chattanooga, and Tri-Cities. Back to live action. Greg Bell works it in for Tennessee. The Volunteers trail by a pair against East Tennessee. Turnaround by Houston. Nice shot. With his back to the bucket, Allen Houston. Nice offensive pattern. There's the mismatch we talked about. A good pattern for Tennessee to use. Greg Dennis, a similar shot. However, he misses. And the Volunteers get the board. Tie ball game. Tennessee looking for its first lead since they had a 4-2 advantage early in the ball game. Greg Bell, who has six points on a pair of three-pointers, works against Major Gear. Ricky Clark with it now. Clark driving and a foul. Offensive foul against Ricky Clark. Calvin Talford definitely had position. Well, he had a full head of steam, and it was a good defensive play. That man just got run over here. We see the defense. He's sliding across. He gets his feet set. Good position. Good defense. 11 minutes exactly to go in the first half. East Tennessee is hitting 63% from the floor. The Volunteers at 43%. And we're in a tie ball game. Greg Dennis with a ball in the corner to Marty Story. Major gear with it. Dennis backs off. Good job by Lockhart of Tennessee. Story in the corner to Jennings. Dennis faking in the lane. Nice shot by Dennis. And he did that despite having two fouls. That was a good offensive move. A dangerous move because Tennessee is going to get under him in a minute and try to pick up the third foul. You talk to a lot of the pro scouts. They say Dennis, even though he's only a junior, is a definite NBA prospect. At 6'11", he moves well, shoots well. Needs to strengthen up a little bit. Nice turnaround jumper by Sean Thompson, Tennessee's freshman. Dennis with the ball. Marty Story. Jennings is wide open. Missed the shot, however, and Clark with the rebound. Once again, Tennessee will try to take the lead. A foul. Tripping Houston was Keith Jennings. Unintentionally, of course, and Jennings gets his first foul. Here we see coming down the floor, and not intentional, and just gets off to the side, gets tripped up, commits the foul. Team foul number five on the Buccaneers. Tennessee plays it in. Allen Houston with the ball against Marty Story. Here's Houston. Fires a three. Missed it. Lockhart had it stripped by Jennings. Thompson follows it in, and Tennessee up by two. Good follow-up on the offensive board. 9.20 to go. First half, Keith Jennings with the ball for the Buccaneers. Keller. In the corner to Gear. Good ball movement by East Tennessee. Marty Story to Keller. Here's Jennings. Dennis, nice move, missed the shot, tipped it up and in. Nice follow by Dennis. Great offensive play. Once again, Tennessee's missing an opportunity to draw the charge when he's going, when he leaves it from 18 feet out there. They should be in a position to draw a charge on him. Tie ball game. We've had six ties, three lead changes in this first half. Inside, Thompson got the feed from Ricky Clark, and the Volunteers back out in front by a pair. East Tennessee looked for transition, did not get it. Now they set it up. Gear for three, missed it. Clark with a rebound. East Tennessee State not shooting quite as well from the outside the, the last five minutes. Taylor down low to Lockhart. No good. Tipped by Clark. And a foul. 